Siberia, Mother Nature's forgotten child. Russia's frozen land of exile. Home to bitter winds and bitter hearts. Dan Demol. Who do you have to screw? I'm rich. I'm genius. I look dashing and expensive for cults. And, oh, I'm not married. How can I not be the most eligible bachelor in the world? Relax, Napoleon. Everything will go exactly as we've planned. Don't you see? I cannot relax. I cannot laugh. I cannot smile. I cannot even enjoy my favorite TV show while indulging in the guilty pleasure of a highly salted, deeply fried snack until they're all taken care of. They will be. You bet your beautiful bazookas they will be. Eleven bachelors will get on. Only one bachelor will get off. And the world will never be the same. Spy Groove, file number Toy Bishop 3000 Funnel Cake 40. Codename Cyberbarian Express. The Maxi Bar. A full service filling station pumping super unleaded narcissism into the vanity powered jet set. <sighs> cool. <sighs> I'm sorry. Sorry you're not on Blather Magazine's top 10 bachelor list? No, sorry you're on it. <laughs> you're sorry for me? Yeah, you've unfortunately contracted a tragic case of terminal cheesiness. You're saying I'm cheesy? There are three symptoms that signal cheesiness on a critical level. One, meaningless public praise. The list. Two, enjoying meaningless public praise. The fact that I'm happy to be on the list. And three, accepting the benefits that accompany meaningless public praise. You mean the invitation I accepted to Napoleon Pushkin's bachelor party this weekend on his high-speed luxury train? No, I mean the cheesy invitation you accepted to the cheesy Napoleon Pushkin's cheesy bachelor party on his cheesy train. Mm. You're jealous. Because you're not invited and you're not on the list. Yeah, right, whatever. Hey, boys. It's Mac. Parental discretion advised. Hey, Mac. Hey, Mac. And make it quick. I'm covering the other waitress. She was just discovered. By a movie director? No, by the bouncer. He caught her sneaking Jay Leno in through the ladies' room window. Yikes. Did he get in? No. His fat ass is still caught in the window. Ooh, double yikes. The usual? Yeah, you got it. Actually, make it milk for me. My stomach's a little upset. The agent share a conference call on their Swiss Army phones, complete with screwdriver, fish scaler, and plaque-removing hydrosonic dental irrigation system. It's Helena Troy. A woman who's always on top of the situation. Listen up, boys. I've got the lowdown on the certain Russians' loco motives. Pun intended. You bet your train ticket to Napoleon Pushkin's suspicious Siberian stag party. That puts so suspicious. Russian mega mogul and confirmed celebrity skirt chaser announces wedding to completely unknown mystery woman. Slash bogus bride. Then invites Blather Magazine's list of top ten bachelors. A list he never made, full of people he publicly hates. To be captive guests on his brand new mega deluxe transcontinental choo-choo train, the Siberian Red Fox. Sounds like a little Bolshevik to me. Oh, child, please, that's nothing. Listen to this. Yeah? This is a device that was recently stolen from the super-secret Siberian Neophysics Laboratory, mm-hmm. which just happens to be across the street from the super-secret train yard where Pushkin parks his train. Mm, the device. The extremely dangerous handheld reverse magnetic linear propulsion device. Hmm. A magnetic linear propulsion allows modern high-speed trains to reach their high speeds and remain on track. Yes. A reverse magnetic linear propulsion device would cause a train to derail. Bingo! Killing the world's top 10 bachelors. Hmm. Does that sound suspicious? Bachelor number 10. Well, thank you both for turning a cigar-smoking, bathe-filled, no-holds-barred boys' night out into just another ho-hum, workaday, life-threatening mission. Don't thank us. Thank Napoleon Pushkin. Okay, now, everybody on board? Yes. Yes. Good. And boys, keep yourselves in that freak train on track, okay? In Siberia, adorable royal princess, well-chiseled business titans, Hollywood power honks, and agent number two anticipate the arrival of the Siberian Red Fox. Mindy, clue me here. Yeah, just checking in. Welcome to Siberia and the biggest bachelor party ever. Tomorrow morning, I will reveal my bride-to-be, and you will witness a reunion as we pull into Moscow Station. But for tonight, let us eat, drink, and be unmarried. Yeah. Ah. Gentlemen, meet your personal hostesses for the trip. And let me tell you, it will be one hell of a trip. Hello, George. I'm Kasha. Hello, Your Highness. I'm Masha. Hello there. I'm Tasha. I'm eligible. Oh, aboard! Oh, you know, the last time I was in Siberia, I was with Cuba Gooding Jr. and the Judds, and we were cross-country skiing for charity. Cross-country skiing? I love cross-country skiing. When I was young, I used to cross-country ski with my dear old grandpapa. We called him Poppy. The Siberian Red Fox is now departing the station. Oh. 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 <laughs> the Red Fox is now traveling at its maximum safe speed of 300 miles per hour. May I? Kiss me? Ask the name of your perfume. It's... Uh... Sexual Beyond Words? Oh, uh, well, yeah. No, it's actually called Sexual Beyond Words. I will leave you now, so you may change into something more comfortable. You'll be back soon? Very soon, with refreshments. Come on, get me out of here! <laughs> 
This is all your fault, you cheesy bastard. I didn't ask to be on that list. Do you ask to get a cold? No. Cheesiness is like a viral infection. It picks you. You don't pick it. Mm. Couldn't you have gotten rid of her a little sooner, seeing as I was trapped inside of a trunk? Oh, she's very distracting. Clearly. And we were on a mission. Just get out of here and do whatever you have to do. I'll check out the train. I guess I have no other choice but to check out the party. I guess I get stuck with the gravity jet. I guess there's an upside to being on a cheesy list. I guess cheesy. See people. you in the morning. If anything goes wrong, I'll use the emergency brake to stop the train. Mm. Or not. Use your watchy talkie. Agent number one stealthily searches the Red Fox with the help of his Sketcher magnetic knee pads and mittens. Available in plum, key lime, and casual denim. Unlucky, mm. mm. cheesy ass sons of bitches. No emergency brakes, a getaway pod, and <laughs> the extremely dangerous Anna reverse magnetic linear propulsion device. <laughs> Mission accomplished. Sierra. Oh my God. The tunnel. Spy crew. File number Toy Bishop 3000 Funnel Cake 40, Part 2. Having been distracted by an old flame, Agent Number 1 finds himself head over heels. Fortunately, he saves his own life using his stylish keychain slash bottle opener. Emergency tow line feature extra. Uh, there again. Where are my manners? Boys, this is my genius daughter. Sierra Nevada. I raised the child from birth to be a showgirl, but she up and ran off to MIT. And now I return the prodigal daughter. <laughs> prodigal daughter. Office 4, Liberace 7, Crush. I'm sorry we didn't work out. You're sorry. I'm sorry, Sierra. Someday, maybe we'll meet again. Uh. You and the real me. Contact agent number two. I'm sorry. The Espionage International customer you are trying to reach could not be contacted due to frequency jamming from an unknown source. Please try your call again later. Sierra. Mm-hmm. Frequency jamming. I should have known. Mm. <laughs> uh, cracker? No, thank you. Cracker, sir? No. How about the cracker? Maybe later. Probably want the cracker? No. But you're so cheesy, sir. Surely you want a cracker for your cheese. Oh. Oh. Uh, yes, thank you. I'd love a cracker. Crackers? I love crackers. When I was young, I used to eat crackers with my dear old grandpapa. We called him Poppy. Uh, nice for you. Uh, do you think she would like uh, some uh, cheese? Uh, sure. Yeah. Tasha, why don't you go see if you can find us some cheese? Cheese? I love cheese. When I was younger, mm. I... She was one hell of a girl. One hell of a distraction. What have you been doing all this time? Uh, well, I, uh... What's the matter with you? Listen, uh, something has happened. I don't know how to... Talk? Uh, I'm a little... I've never felt this way before. Y yeah, I may be uh, falling... Love? Maybe. Wait, what's her name? Uh, what is her name? Pasha, Glasha, Nasha, Basha... Tasha. Yes, Tasha. I'll never forget it again. I'll forget it right now because we have work to do. Pushkin's planning to derail this train. How do you know? The emergency brake system is sabotaged. And I found a getaway pod in the caboose. Which means Pushkin's going to use the reverse propulsion device to derail the train, kill every bachelor on board, and escape in his getaway pod. Finally landing on Blather Magazine's cheesy top ten list. Nice work. Thank you. And now for the topper. There's more. It's about what's-her-name. Watch it. Remember Sierra Nevada? She's nothing like Sierra. That's not what I'm saying. I have reason to believe that Tasha is a... She's... You were saying? I have reason to believe that she's an... You know what? I don't care. What? Here. Take my watchy-talkie, my high-definition X-ray surveillance shades, this thing, and, uh, you know, all of it. Number two. I'm sorry. I can't complete this mission. And that means... I quit. Actually, I need the pen. It's just a... This is it? It's a pen. This is it? Yes. Bye. But she's a... Bye. Robot. Gentlemen, I have big announcement. Prince William has just asked for Dasha her hand in marriage. And Dasha said da. What? what? She said yes. Raise your glasses to Dasha, the future queen of England. Yes! yes. Well, that's uh, fabulous. Uh, I'm getting married as well. <laughs> hey, I'm getting married too. Oh, my God. I'm getting married. <laughs> Tomorrow morning, we all get married. Tomorrow. Tomorrow. Here's to all of you. And your beautiful, blushing robots. Total frequency jamming. Possibly due to presence of outlaw robotic engineering genius Sierra Nevada. Stop. Agent number two, quitting due to romantic involvement with possible animatronic robot. Stop. All bachelors engaged to stag party hostesses slash possible animatronics. Stop. Red Fox in extreme danger. Full stop. P.S. Not referring to the late Red Fox, former star of Sanford and Son. Last stop. Ah, at least there's one thing on this train I know is the real thing. 
Agent Number One uses his Coca-Cola message in a bottle rocket to send an emergency memo to Helena Troy. Sierra, Sierra, Sierra. Number one, number one, number one. Train crasher. Party crasher. I see you're still playing the same old game. I'm still waiting for one of us to win. What are we playing for? Guess. Oh, that's right. You like guessing games. Oh, you remember. I've got one for you. How about I make a guess? If I'm right, you tell me something I don't know. If you're wrong, you win. Start guessing. The hosts on this train are audio animatronic robots. My best design yet. Your turn. What's their secret weapon? Sexually arousing custom designed pheromones created by a fast acting genetic replicator located in their fingertips. Oh, genius. <laughs> Guess again. They spray the pheromones on the unsuspecting victim. I Take... prefer non voluntary subject to victim. Okay, taking care of the problem of reproducing the sensual power of the human kiss. My robo bridal brigade can fake everything from the fake friend air smack to the full French tongue lock. And nobody notices they're kissing a robot when they're high on pheromones. Exactly. The pheromones make it seem real. real enough to trap ten of the world's most eligible bachelors. Including one very attractive but highly annoying spy. Agent number two. Good guess. My turn. <laughs> Do I get bonus points for visual aids? I should have seen this coming. Sit back, relax. Tonight's broadcast will be presented without interruption. Tasha, don't do it, will you? You'll do it. Marry me. He did it. No, you did it. Spy Group, file number Toy Bishop 3000-Funnel Cake 40, Part 3. On board the bridal train, Agent Number 1 and Sierra Nevada watch as Agent Number 2 proposes marriage to Tasha, the pheromone-spewing audio-animatronic robot. I don't know what to say. It's all so sudden. Let's get it over with. You missed the best part. If only I weren't chained to this chair. But you are, Agent Number 1, you are. Affirmative answer, go. Yes. Eyelashes, go. I will marry you. No, well, why not? Full French with darting tongue, go. This is diabolical. Looks like they're having a wonderful time to me. Mm. Whoa, where'd you learn to kiss like that? And they all lived happily ever after. Of course, you're not derailing this train. You're going to use your animatronic spouses to control ten of the wealthiest, most influential men on the planet. Good guess. There's one thing I don't know. Does that mean it's my turn? Yes. Where does Pushkin fit in? We have a financial agreement. He pays for everything, and I leave him at the altar. Still a bachelor. And with the competition married off. He gets the pity boat and makes it on Blather Magazine's cheesy top ten list. Everybody's a winner. Except me. I lose a partner. No. You gain one. What are you talking about? Why do you think I stole the device? Is this part of the game? I'm tired of playing games. I stole the device because I I knew you'd come looking for it. Well, here I am. Yes. And here we are, hurtling across the frozen Siberian tundra at 300 miles per hour, you and me, with no choice but to hold on and enjoy the ride. If I sit on your lap, there's room for two in that getaway pod. Sierra. I could just leave this dress on and... With my spy capabilities and your ability to manipulate the most powerful men on the planet... Nothing could stop us. Except me. I guess that means no. Good guess. Game over. Next stop for this crazy locomotive is the town of I Win. Population one. Fine. Fine. Let's see. I have something old, something new, something borrowed. Give me that. What about something blue? That would be you. After their heated exchange, the cold-hearted Sierra Nevada literally gives agent number one the cold shoulder, turning him into Frosty the Secret Agent Man. Uh, nothing's against you, Tasha, but before I sign this, uh... Ironclad prenuptial agreement that gives me full power of attorney over all your assets, past, present, and future? Yeah, shouldn't I talk to a lawyer? No one matters but us now. You're right. Nothing matters but I... Tasha? What? Do you know Morse code? Should I? Well, this might sound kind of strange, but, uh... Your eyes keep blinking the message, I am a robot, in Morse code. <laughs> in Morse code? I love Morse code! When I was young, I used to do Morse code with my dear old grandpapa. We called him Poppy. You just proposed to a robot. Remember Mr. Top Ten? Oh, Sierra. Sierra? I love Sierra. When I was young, I used to do Sierra with my dear old grandpapa. We called him Poppy. Oh, yeah? And what about uh, water skiing with live chicken strap to your feet? Water skiing with live chicken strap to my feet? Yeah. I love to water Where the hell are you? Live chicken Trapped strap to my feet. in frozen bridal caboose. Turning blue from hypothermia. And I thought I had cold feet. On my way. We called him Poppy. Poppy. I know. And now, pronounce you man and wife, you may kiss the bride. Next. Hey, save it for the honeymoon. Next. To you, Tasha. 
Robotsky, who, to gauge a number two to be a lawfully wedded husband, to have to hold until death do you part, etc., etc., and you say, I do. I do. Good job, kiddo. Do you, agent number two, take Tasha Robotsky to be uh, a... Wait a second. Uh, aren't you forgetting something? What are you talking about? The, if there's anyone present who knows any reason why this couple shouldn't be wed, speak now or forever hold your peace part. I know a reason. Really? Yes, that bride is a robot. robot. <laughs> You're kidding. Wait, no, 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 no. You're right. Oh, oh, oh. You all married robots. Pull off their heads. <laughs> <laughs> Now I never make the list. I am ruined. I kill myself, and everybody dies with me. Ah, big! Big Russian tragedy! Get him! Damn. Here, let me do it. Uh, Oof! Here, let me do it. Hi-ya! Ow, 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 ow. Here, let me do it. The device is wired. Until death to us path, babushkas. Goodbye. <laughs> he disabled the auto engineer. Damn. Agent number one, I'll need your help to disengage the extremely dangerous handheld Whatever. device. I'll stop pushing. The Red Fox is now traveling at the unsafe speed of 301 miles per hour. Please do fasten seatbelts and bring all seats to upright sitting position. We will be crashing into Moscow Station in approximately three minutes. <laughs> I love crashing. Attach the double amoxicated coaxial cable to that green one. You're doing the right thing, Sierra. Look, I'm just saving my own caboose. Caboose while we're saving. Thanks, but keep your mind on the job. I'm ready to detach the device. When I say go, I want you to spin around and hit the emergency power breaker. Otherwise, we risk a power surge of a catastrophic proportion. That's right, you genius son of a bitch. Now go. Do it. Done. All systems stabilized. Huh. You were right about one thing. We do make a great cut. Damn. I want to get away, you stupid getaway pod. He's like a toaster but doesn't toast. Oh, Georgia. You don't deserve to be on that list. You'll never make that list. Why not? I'm rich. I'm genius. You're too short. What? You must be at least this tall to be on Blather Magazine's cheesy-ass list of eligible bachelors. You cheated, Sierra. You didn't steal that propulsion device to get me on the train. You stole it to propel your getaway pod away from the train. If things had worked out, we could have been like two peas in that getaway pod. Goodbye. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, why won't you look me in the eye? I'm afraid. Afraid of what you'll see? No. Afraid of what you'll see. Sierra. I lost her. Again? You get yours? Yeah. When he comes to, he'll be sorry that he won't be making another list. Well, it's just that. Top ten most wanted. <laughs> I know. Mm, mm, mm. Nice work, boys. Looks like I got myself a dope on the rope. <laughs> oh, I don't mean you, Carlo, honey. And so, uh, how was sex with the robot? It sucked. Literally? Electronically. You mean like a vacuum cleaner? Well, um... Okay, don't go into details. Okay, but, uh, I'm just saying. Wait a know. minute, now you're gloating? I'm you're not gloating. You're you not know. gloating over messing around with a robot. Well, you know what I'm saying. If you had a machine like messing this around, around your house, you'd never have to leave the house. Yeah, basically, you, you, you messed around with an appliance. Well, no, it was the pheromones and the appliance yes. together. It was not bad, yeah, I have so to say. You actually bad. had sex with a, a electronic... I mean, I'm not going to tell you what. You never ask me like this. It's just, you know, think what you think. Oh, yeah, that's great. My, me, my girlfriend, she takes double A's and her double D. Well, you know, you, <laughs> know that, you were having sex with a diabolical villain. We did not have sex. And you know, you know, you know, 